Hey everybody, it is a few days until D-Day, when we actually fly out and start our travels officially. So in the meantime, there are a bunch of possessions that obviously you saw from our last video where we unpacked our entire apartment, but we now need to condense it into something that means we can take it with us on our travels. So we've never traveled for a year abroad, never mind traveled for a year abroad just using hand luggage. It'll be interesting to see if we have packed the correct items, if we have enough with us, if we have too little. The good news is that we can probably buy things along the way. And it'll be cool to also find out when we get back what was kind of redundant and unnecessary. So with that, we're going to give you just a brief demonstration as to what we are taking with us and all of the, what we hope are going to be essentials during our travels and what we're going to be taking with us. We will be packing in this 42 liter backpack that I think you've seen before and it converts into a rolly bag. So we each have one of those. And then as my personal item, I will be using this 20 liter backpack. And then for mine, uh, I'm going to be sticking with a very similar formula to what we used when we went to British Columbia, what, a couple of years ago now, was it? Couple yeah. Of years ago. Yeah, wow. That was a while ago. Um, so this was the personal item that I used for then, so I figured, why mess with the formula? It works. Okay, so I'm going to be taking this sleeping bag liner. My friend Tara recommended it to me. You can slide in it, or you could put this in a sleeping bag that you've borrowed, for example. And it also has a section where you can like tuck or slide the pillow into. So she was suggesting that if we end up in any hostels or hotels that are dirty, we could just actually sleep inside this, even without the sleeping bag, and then our heads don't even have to touch the pillow. So that's perfect. I'm also taking a small microfiber towel. And just so you know, we got a lot of these things off of Amazon and we will be sure to link our Amazon storefront in the description box below. So you can go and find any of these things that you might be interested in getting yourself. I'm also taking what is a waterproof poncho. It looks like this. So I can wear that uh, over my backpack too. So that should keep that nice and dry if it's raining. Taking earplugs if we're in a hostel and it gets loud and noisy, this will help us sleep. Some long leggings. I think I'm gonna wear these ones on the plane. They're gonna sit aside and not go in my suitcase for now. Taking a crop top. And again, I think I'm gonna wear this crop top on the plane. Also taking a sweatshirt to keep me warm. And again, I get really cold, this is a theme. So gonna be taking this on the plane with me. So this is also gonna get set aside. The last thing that I'm gonna take on the plane with me, I think, this is a down packable jacket. And so you can pack it into this little bag that comes with it. And so I'm also gonna take this on the plane with me because I could also use this to cover my legs if I get cold. Some flights, they don't provide you blankets anymore. So always good to have extra eye find because I can always take things off, but if I don't have a layer, that's difficult. I'm also going to be taking my brand new Asics running shoes with me. So this will be good for long days touring or hiking. And also if we are so inclined to do some exercise, I'm gonna wear these on the plane as well. So these are gonna be set aside. Okay, to things that I'm actually going to pack now. I'm gonna be packing these like three quarter length leggings. I am taking a long line bra, some biker shorts, another crop top, and another long line bra, some pajama shorts, a really huge t-shirt to sleep in. These are some linen blend three quarter length gaucho trousers. I got these from Athleta. Some of the linen that we're taking is completely linen, 100% linen, and others are a mix of cotton and linen, but I've been reliably informed that linen is great for traveling to hot destinations because 
it keeps you cooler. I'm also taking this pair of linen shorts from H&M. So funny story is I ordered the shorts, they never arrived. And so they refunded me and gave me a discount code. So I ordered them again and then two pairs of shorts showed up. So I have two pairs of linen shorts and I figured I might as well bring them both. You never know. I also have a really cute like linen blouse that's short sleeved. It's a crop top too. And the last of the linen is a oversized white linen blouse from H&M. So that will be good for if we need to go any religious sites where you need to be covered up, but it's a hot day. So this should keep me cool and it's white. Everything else is black. Also a conscious choice on my part to just wear one color so everything is interchangeable. Although this one piece of color, this is a scarf we actually got in Morocco linen blend again, so can be used to cover shoulders and so on too. I'm going to be taking a bathing suit with me, socks, my Teva sandals. These are gonna be great for hiking and they're also waterproof. A shower cap. This is Tide detergent. You can do some laundry in a sink. So if we don't have access to a washing machine, we can use these. A collapsible mug, an adapter, chargers for my Fitbit and for my phone. I have my hair accessories in this little bag here as well as some medication. So some ibuprofen. I think these are anti-nausea medication, more hair ties. This is for diarrhea and this is cold and sinus Tylenol. These are my liquid toiletries that I'm taking. So it's a combination of like makeup, toothpaste, shampoo, uh, sunscreen, and some moisturizer. Pad lock so that when we're in hostels, uh, we can lock all of our belongings up. Malaria tablets that we need to take with us, as well as this is a antibiotic for diarrhea, so something a little bit stronger. Finally, I have all my other toiletries in here. So for any of the girls wondering, Diva Cup, so I don't have to buy tampons. Toothbrush with a protector on it. Hairbrush. I got some jewelry off of Amazon because I didn't want to bring anything expensive with me. So I just got um, two pairs of earrings and a necklace. Deodorant, a tiny little razor, some makeup, and some brushes all in this. I'll pack some of what I've just put in here into this bag because I clearly have room my laptop and charger, and I'm gonna be taking this. This will go in here. So this will be what probably what I carry around daily. And taking Life Straw, sunglasses, a Shiwi, and then of course my passports are in here too. My passports and then an RFID blocking wallet as well. And then at the front here, I just have some headphones, and another hair tie. I think that's everything I'm taking. Let me know if you think I should be taking something else, if I'm forgetting something, if there's something I've packed that you think is unnecessary. It'll be interesting to see. Okay, so in terms of what I'm packing, then the first thing, I've realized that obviously I've got my personal item bag right here, which I'm gonna be using for the plane, but there's gonna be a couple of times during our travels where we expect we're gonna be in slightly wetter climates, or alternatively, we might be on boats or things like that. So the first thing that we have here is this 20 litre dry bag. It's fully waterproof, so that should mean that if ever we are in that kind of situation, we can keep everything dry and protected. For the plane and pretty much every other plane, because the air conditioning is going to make things cold, I am going to be taking one solitary pair of jeans. But for the most part, the vast majority of the rest of what we see here is going to be shorts. Swim shorts, because of the fact that I know what my body's like, I sweat a lot. Uh, so with that then, alongside the linens and everything like that that Rachel has alluded to, then I am also going to make sure that I'm taking a lot of stuff which is very much dry fit, breathable, all of that kind of stuff. So with that, this is going to be one of several pairs of gym shorts I'm going to be taking with me. On top of that, taking a tank top that I frequently use at the gym, as well as this lovely t-shirt. I am generally quite an active guy, but uh, once upon a time I ended up dislocating my knees. Uh, well, one knee, thankfully. 
Um, but since that point, I've been very conscious of making sure that I don't overexert myself too much. And so with that, then I do have these wonderful knee supports. I believe these will also be on our storefront uh, because I did get them from Amazon. I've had these for the past five years, I think, and they have been absolute lifesavers. So I am definitely taking these with me. And then in keeping with everything being breathable, then I've got some wonderful linen trousers. I believe I got these from H&M. Some linen shorts, also from H&M. And a lovely off-white linen shirt from, you guessed it, H&M. And then more linens, this time from Uniqlo. It's amazing that actually they've managed to produce some really, really good quality linen stuff at a very affordable price. So if you're planning on going to particularly hot countries, then definitely have a look at any sales that happen at those two stores. Really, really useful. Here's on top of that, also got some linen shorts, also from Uniqlo. I was having a look in Marshalls one day and I came across these things. So these are some hiking trousers, um, which definitely, as we go into higher altitudes, will definitely be very useful. They're extremely lightweight as well. They're not quite warm enough though i think for the plane so they will definitely be just packed in here and then finally to round off the linen collection the final piece of clothing from uniqlo on top of that then it's not always going to be absolutely roasting so i do have just a couple of normal t-shirts each of the v-necks is from old navy and then i also have one from Tentry. The cool thing about these guys is not just the fact that they're a Canadian brand and that their clothes are amazingly comfortable, but the way that they save the environment is for every single item that you buy from them, then they plant 10 trees somewhere in any forest in the world that needs replenishing. So kind of cool. That is about the last of what is on top for me. So then we have a look into what's on the bottom. So I have some gym boxer briefs. So each of these is moisture wicking, uh, definitely with the idea of doing pretty intensive exercise. So that's definitely gonna help me, because again, sweating, not pleasant. And then on my feet, like with Rachel, I was inspired by her to also get my own pair of Tevis, which should be very, very useful for most of the places that we go. However, there are definitely gonna be instances where maybe we need to do a bit more intensive hiking or potentially might just need to look a little bit more formal or there just may be instances whereby definitely a tube is required, especially when we get onto planes and all of that kind of thing. So with that, this is another thing that I brought to my travels in BC. These are Columbia's, they are hiking shoes, but also in wet shoes. So each of these holes filters out water. So if ever we find ourselves in particularly wet conditions, then this should also be able to help us out. I will probably need to take some socks. So with that, then each of these pairs that you see here are all ankle level socks, That's the way I like them. Just in case uh, there are instances where maybe you need to go for something a little bit more formal to cover up the ankles, just got a couple of long pairs of socks as well. I hope if I crook this will work. Perfect. So now, as you can see, there is this pile of stuff, also an empty personal item bag. In terms of what I'm planning on bringing with me in there, as well as in the front pocket in the big bag, then there's a variety of different things, but most of them are really to do with electronics. The first couple of things, really just to make sure that we are sorted out on a power front. I've got a power bar. This one, I think, has got six different ports and also three different USB bits as well. So it should cover us for everything and means that we can save money on the number of adapters that we need to use and all that kind of stuff. Got some headphones. These ones I did get from Amazon and they came in this lovely little carry case. In here then I also decided that it was a good idea to make sure that if Rachel and I need to listen to something simultaneously, or if I need to connect these to my phone, that I should also get the appropriate little bits in there to make this possible so that no matter where we are, we can sort ourselves out. So that's all in here alongside these, which will fold into here. I'm not gonna pack these right now, purely because of the fact that I still need to go to the gym before we leave, but certainly these will be right in here. I've got some waterproof trousers. While the poncho that Rachel has alluded to before, is going to be great on my top half. The fact is, I also wanna make sure that my bottom half is also taken care of. So with that, then I've got this pair of waterproof trousers, had them for a long time. So I'm gonna take both of these with me and just make sure I'm fully covered. Then we do have the sleeping bag liner as well. I've also got a nice versatile money belt. Uh, so this one is designed to just fit straight around your waist. 
uh, without any need for additional straps. So you should be able to hide this under whatever you're wearing. And it's got neat little pockets for everything that you need. And they're all zipped as well, which is even better. Microfiber towel. Had this one for quite some time, but very, very happy this is going to definitely come in use. A lot of the rest of this stuff is to do with electronics, so uh, I've got a switch, so just making sure I can be entertained on the plane. I will also be packing my laptop, but that's currently upstairs, also charging a Kindle and a power bank. But in terms of other stuff, then I do have a pretty large mess of cables and charges and all of that kind of stuff. I won't go into what all of them do, but they are all very useful. So certainly these are all going in. They're gonna get tangled anyway. There's no point in trying to separate them out. This little thing's gonna be a lifesaver. This is actually a solid state drive. It holds up to one terabyte. And the fact that it's so small, it means it's gonna be very easily portable. So with that, then this is gonna be an absolute lifesaver and will help us with storing our videos. Just in case one of our phones mugs up, I've got an old one, so I'm gonna take that with me. A couple of notepads, just in case we need to quickly write anything down. Padlock, never know when it'll come in handy. A couple of adapters, so this is just a US to UK one to make the trip home that much easier. And this one is a universal one, which I did get from Amazon. Life straw, drink any water anywhere and you should be absolutely fine. We will also have a little document folder just to make sure that we've got all of our most important stuff in one place. More pens. I will figure out a way to cram this all in, it's fine. Masks, even though COVID is kind of over, then there will still be certainly places where they would want you to wear masks. So I've got a cloth one and I've got several other ones. With the wet bag also came this one. So when I come back to kind of redo all of this properly, then this will go in here as well just to make sure that we keep our phones safe. Sunglasses. We've got some friends, so thank you to Erin and Shannon for lending us a GoPro so that we can uh, make sure that we get those action shots in there. With that then came a large variety of different bits here and there. Still need to kind of work through each of these, figure out what they all are, what they mean, what they're useful for. But yeah, once we figured out the ones that we want, then we'll take some of these with us as well. Band-Aids, I'm clumsy, I'll get hurt a lot. Some of the liquid toiletries, other things in my wash bag, mostly dental stuff, as well as grooming kits, malaria tablets, vital important, anti-diarrhea stuff, and a couple of other Ziploc bags just in case we need them. And that, hopefully, should be about it. And that is hopefully what will then sustain us for the vast majority of our time going around the world. Hopefully seeing what we packed has given you some ideas of what you could take along with you if you ever do a trip like this. But if you have experience with going abroad for long periods of time, let us know in the comments below what are some of the essential items that you think we should all be packing. Let us know if there are things you think we've missed. It will be very useful, not just to us, but to anybody else who might want to watch these kinds of videos. I can't believe it's happening. <laughs> yeah. It's gonna be, mate, it's just less than a week. Getting real. It's getting very real, but extremely exciting. Cannot wait. I know. <laughs> yeah. But before that, I definitely need to repack all of this. But that's another thing. Until <laughs> next time, take care. And keep smiling.